state trunk line maintenance. Not every county uh, is a state trunk line maintenance county. There are now 62, 62 statewide <coughs> that have work, uh, are working under a contract with the Michigan Department of Transportation to do all the routine maintenance on the, the state's uh, road system. So I-94, I don't know all the roads nearby, but uh, you know, all the major freeways and then the, the M routes, any road side that is an M and M12 and <coughs> those types of things. Uh, and U.S. highways. Uh, so you can kind of go by that interstate side, um, uh, M routes and U.S. highways. So again, those are, it's almost like a pass-through. They, they give the parameters of what the road agencies to work on, and then the road commission performs that work and gets uh, reimbursed for their time um, on an ongoing basis. Other category is that kind of that catch-all that doesn't fall in these others. I'm not going to spend much time explaining that, but it is 8% in total. Winter maintenance, obvious, um, and you can see uh, that statewide that's only 7%, but there are some counties that that is a big percent of their budget, and you can imagine where that is. Uh, along the uh, Lake Michigan shoreline and the UP, largely. Um, and administrative, um, you know, anytime there's supervision with any of these other categories, that supervisor's time is put in with that category because they're the ones really the glue keeping that project going the right way. But, but it's more like personnel and uh, you know the administ purely administrative ca uh, tasks that are done in the office to to uh, comply with all the rules and regulations that we have to follow. And then uh, construction and capacity, pretty low number. That means where you're expanding. Uh, lane width, more lanes added to a road. That's not a very common thing nowadays. So anyways, those are some high level categories. So drilling down a little bit more into routine tasks. It's like grading gravel roads. Uh, why was that top of the list? There's like close to half of the roads in the state are gravel. It's a big thing in some counties to keep up with all the gravel road and they're just constantly changing throughout the season. Pothole patching, culvert replacements, guardrail repair, uh, Roadside mowing and brushing, sign replacement, and sign repair. Those are just those tasks when the sign gets knocked down, it's the county road department or road commission that gets around to getting that done. Uh, and there are times where the signal work is, uh, some counties don't have a signal. They might have a flasher here and there, and they're usually having someone else maintain that. I was from a county where we had, uh, it was something like about 120 full signals and they were integrated. So we had a lot of investment in having those signals all integrated with a central system. And uh, it's, it's, it's the only way when you have really high traffic volume to kind of keep the traffic moving. So the most frustrating thing for people is to go through a light, go a half mile, stop again, stop again. And that, that takes a lot of time and effort to do that, not only the, the investment to put it up, but to keep it running.